hi guys uh, today's video I will be show you how to perform discrete time convolution of the two discrete signal so if you are new on my channel first you have to subscribe my channel thank you so now I am starting so here we have a signal H uh, which is the impulse response so here we have uh, you can see 3 2 1 minus 2 1 0 minus 4 0 and 3 and here we have a uh, input signal which is uh, 0 0 and 1 double 0 okay so now we have need to convolve these two signals and perform convolution so first you have to define the origin of the first signal which is the impulse so H uh, origin of H would be at which point the origin I am just taking here 1 okay so you can see our at 0th position we have a output 1 okay now we have need to define the time index for this impulse response signal okay so you can see here so n of, uh, n of h uh, which is the input time index so you can uh, represent in that way length of H okay and uh, now we have need to define origin for input signal so origin of uh, input signal which is equals to at 1 at 1 the origin uh, is at the origin input uh, our output is 1 okay so now we have need to define nx time index okay so our time how I can define so 1 raised to length length x okay it means that it means that so 0 1 1 double 0 so here we have 5 samples so from 1 2 till 5 it will go by increment of 1 okay and then <coughs> uh, we have to define the level okay so I am defining uh, means what interval we have need to take here so I am taking here x lamb so nh of 1 uh, till nh of n so here I am taking minus 1 so what will happen if I just take here minus 1 or plus 1 so you will see when I will run this code so for I am just copying this statement and because it will take time to write here so I am just paste here and this is your I will take also for X so now you have need to convolve these two signals so Y equals to you can say convolution of x uh, h comma x okay h comma x okay now uh, we have need to define uh, a range of uh, y or you can say the index of y so y n would be equivalent to n h nx uh, till 1 plus till n ok uh, sorry this is 1 now it would be n nh nx of 1 sorry and here and and then here we have also n okay 
so uh, this is the uh, index of uh, impulses of uh, output signal okay so now we have a uh, need to plot this figure so figure so subplot here we have subplot uh, three rows in one columns and this is the first plot which which I am taking uh, as a impulse response okay so a stem a stem of uh, NH NH comma H and comma field now we have to define uh, grid on and X level X level here we have uh, time index and Y level a Y level would be amplitude amplitude okay now we have to take title title is uh, impulse response obviously impulse impulse response of which is h of h of n okay so now uh, it will take time so i am just again copy this uh, these this code and just uh, paste it two times and then you will see here so this is for first and this is for your second input signal so I am taking here X because this is your uh, NX now I am plotting here NX obviously so this is your not uh, this is your input signal okay input signal okay uh, which is NX and uh, this is your output so uh, this is your YN and this is Y or sorry it's three and I am plotting here this three third signal which is your output signal and uh, here we have need to define your output out this is your output signal okay so uh, now we have need to run this code let's see what happened so 13 line number 13 we here we have uh, sorry this is now it would be okay sorry I am I have need to just uh, take addition of both because our output signal in that will come in that manner so now you will see here uh, you will I will clearly show you how input and output response you you can see here so this is your impulse response of this signal so hope you enjoy this video thank you so much for watching okay